I wanted to be a paleontologist. That was what I wanted to be more than anything else. Um, and then it was uh, at the middle school I went to, there was this thing called an oratorical recital. You had to get up, you had to recite a speech of some sort, and it just it was the most terrifying thing in the world for me. You had to memorize a speech of a certain length. And my dad said, well, can I show you something? I was like, well, sure, okay. So he shows me the Kenneth Branagh Henry V movie and shows me the St. Crispin's Day Agincourt speech. And he's like, if you do this, I'll let you watch the big gory battle scene at the end. So I was like, all right, fine. So I decided to do it. Um, so the day of, I'm this, you know, sixth grader in this homemade tunic, a wooden sword, and just, I mean, shaking. I'm literally shaking. I'm just, I'm terrified. And so they call my name. I get up there. I start going through the speech. My voice cracked a couple times. And, um, but then all of a sudden I started listening to what I was saying. And, you know, I realized that what King Henry was going through, the fact that he was facing seemingly impossible odds, and having to, uh, in one sense, you know, act brave and hoping that bravery comes out of that. I was desperately in need of bravery. And, you know, there was something about that that just hit and connected. And that didn't really get full-fledged until I did Hamlet in high school. And it was during that production it was just, everything just kind of made sense. I'm like, this is what I need to do. This is who I am. It's hard to kind of just pick, but if I could pick two different ones, one in each world, I do a lot of theater, um, more so than film, uh, but to try to pick one from each and kind of the reasons why. Uh, I would probably most recently would choose Claudio in Much Ado About Nothing, which I did with the Atlanta Shakespeare Company. Uh, it's a role that uh, I had played Benedict, the kind of elder statesman main character, for uh, high school, and that was kind of my first lead role. And um, I got to be fairly good friends with the guy who's playing Claudio, who unfortunately um, passed away about a year or so after we did the Much Ado in high school. And so getting a chance to, uh, in some sense, give tribute to him and to his memory by getting to do this on a professional level was huge. And it just really allowed me to, uh, you know, try out my comedy a little bit more, which just terrifies me more than anything else, um, but really kind of go to a lot of deep places. And I really got to kind of plumb the depths of, uh, you know, pain, sorrow, uh, you know, feeling jilted, feeling like uh, you've made the right choice and then everybody turns around and you're blamed for this horrible circumstance, but yet you still think what you did was right. And that's always something that I enjoy doing is really kind of getting the artifice, pushing it to the side, and really just trying to get down deep into the guts of what it means to be human and, you know, the all the human emotions and stuff and really just trying to, you know, access it and show it. Uh, and so that was a role that I really got a lot of opportunity to do that, which I was really grateful for. In terms of film, um, I'd probably say I'm going to go with uh, Edgar Santora from Listen. I liked it for very similar reasons. Um, it was a personal story. Uh, my father was military, and uh, thankfully he uh, was not afflicted with PTSD, but also at the same time he was a chaplain and got to work with a lot of people that were. And so getting the chance to at least play act this set of circumstances to do a movie that wasn't just, you know, for kicks and giggles, but really, you know, had a message, something to share. And uh, it was a big challenge. And it was probably the biggest challenge I've had on film to date. And um, so I love challenge and I welcome it. If I had to distill it down to two things, I'd probably say a desire for truth and honesty. Um, I think there's this myth of, you know, being an auteur, you know, whether it's being a director or, you know, an actor that you're so good that people will put up with your personal crap. And um, 
you know, I, I think back to the movie Harvey where uh, Jimmy Stewart says, in life you can be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. I've been smart and I recommend pleasant. And I think there's just something about we're sitting here creating things as people. And, um, you know, emotions get tense. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve, um, hopefully for the camera. And, um, you know, tensions can run high. And I think giving people that extra measure of grace, uh, you know, really kind of helps things glide smoother. And on top of that, you have to be good. I want to be honest. I want to have truth. I want people to look at my work and say, that's coming from a place of truth. That's not coming from a place of artifice. So those are the two things, I would say, honesty and truth. Thank you.